Hey guys, welcome to my Halloween DVD haul. I have no costume because I have no plans because I have no life. I have come as myself. Fucking that I'll have to do. Okay, so I have like a mini DVD haul because I so didn't buy any DVDs. I've been buying Christmas presents because I am one of those people. I'm the person on September 1st that is singing Christmas carols and going on about wanting to put my tree up now. Okay, I'm that person because I like Halloween, but I don't really do anything with Halloween anymore. It's all about Christmas the second September comes in. Okay, so I've been buying Christmas presents, but I do have some DVDs and I have a couple of goodies. I never buy this stuff and now I'm kind of getting into buying it. So yeah, let's get these DVDs out of the way. I don't know what I just did there. Okay, so <clears throat> the original Maniac. Um, I watched it and Oh, it's a bit more perverted than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I actually quite like the uh, remake with Elijah Wood. I saw that. Um, I saw this a really, really long time ago, but I didn't remember anything about it. But yeah, um, I guess, yeah, have it in your collection. But uh, it didn't grab me. The remake I thought was better, and I'm going to start a shitstorm probably by saying that. Okay, Brave. I hadn't seen Brave. I was in the mood for, like, Disney stuff. I know it's Pixar, whatever the fuck it is. The Incredibles, the same. Now I want to collect these slips. I, oh god, my collector gene that's in me just goes m like nuts when this kind of stuff happens. I want these slips. And they have stars on them with numbers that you can't fucking see. I want to collect them all. I also went and got the Cars trilogy. Because I like Cars. What is it, Lightning McQueen? I like Cars. And I like the second one as well. I liked it. So I got the trilogy for, as you can see, 9 99 because I didn't take the sticker off as usual. But yeah, it takes me literally like five years after these kinds of things come out to actually watch them. And then I do and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. Now I know why you're all freaking out about it. Oh, I got Wreck-It Ralph. They're two for 12 right now, by the way. They always do that at Halloween. But yeah, I got Wreck-It Ralph and I fucking cried. I cried when Ralph was like doing good stuff towards the end. Oh, such a good film. Okay, I do actually have some horrors ish. I have The Mechanic, which is not a horror, it's the only action one though. I have The Mechanic. It was like two quid at the counter, so nah. It was alright, it wasn't too bad. I do like Jason Statham. I also have The Forest. Now, I got this for. Oh, this is the one I wish I'd left the fucking sticker on. I got this, I swear it was like 2 99 and I thought that was very strange because did this not come out very recently and it was like 2 quid. I swear I didn't pay more than 3 or 4 quid for this. Um, I watched it, I like the idea of it. I Obviously the actual forest itself is a very well known place. I was well aware of that forest for years, my bro especially my brother I think told me all about it a few years ago. And I love the concept of that, but oh, there's something missing in this film. It wasn't amazing, but it was okay. This one I've seen kind of doing the rounds. I think I saw this in someone's, yeah, I saw this in someone's haul and I was like, oh, I'm going to order that, Haunter. And that's holographic, you can't see. I got this for like a quid off of Amazon. And then after I bought it, I just saw this name pop up all over YouTube and all over my Facebook. I was like, okay, I managed to get on the bandwagon kind of quickly-ish. Okay, Leprechaun back to the hood. Okay, I completely forgot this one existed. I thought I had more. I had no fucking clue this one was around and I'd been wanting it for a really long time. But then I suddenly went, holy shit, I haven't got the whole lot. Why the fuck did I not remember that there is a back to the hood? And I think at one point I did remember that there was one, but then I couldn't find it. And I thought, maybe I made it up and I dreamed it or something. No, I didn't. It fucking exists. But it's a region one and it doesn't play. And I thought maybe the disc was fucked, but it's not. It's my laptop. My laptop is the only way for me to watch region ones. That's why I don't mind buying them. Because I don't have, have a Blu-ray player, but it's not a multi-region. It's not a region three, sorry. It's a multi-region where you have to physically put the regions back and forth but you can only do it like three times so it's a region two and my laptop is region one and it doesn't work so I tried a few more of my region ones in my laptop and my laptop's just clearly fucked it's really old okay you guys know me I have no fucking idea about technology okay the DVDs are done now I have a couple of just a couple of little goodies okay I'm so excited 
So, I was thinking, I was looking up stuff for Christmas for people, and I was thinking, you know what, I don't have any autographs from anybody, because I don't like the idea of meeting celebrities. If I see a celebrity, I'm like, oh, great, that's so cool, it's such and such, and then I'm just like, bye, and I'll just walk off. I don't, I don't want to meet them, I don't, and I certainly don't want to go up and ask them for something, that's just not me, but I wanted this uh, Freddy Krueger necklace. Now, Freddy Krueger has been my iconic horror hero, anti-hero, villain, whatever. He's just amazing since I was about the age of six. And I was like, oh, there's this necklace that I want, which is this one, okay? You can see it. It is Freddy's glove, and if you can see just how kind of detailed that is, like, it's got the little bolts and everything in it, like little screws, and it's even cut. It's just really, really cool. And if you want it, this is kind of how far it... I can't even see against myself. It's too white. It goes down to here. I also have... Well, it's Halloween. I didn't dress up, but I also have my little Jack Skellington on and my Freddy necklace. Now, I got this off of Robert England's actual website. It cost me, like, just over 30 quid for the necklace, for the shipping, and then for this, which is what it came in, okay? He's just added it to his site. Please don't let this be mirrored. Oh, thank God. He signed it. <laughs> it says, To Laura, Sweet Dreams, Freddie, Robert England. Or it says Freddie K, actually, Robert England. And it's got the little slash marks there as well. He had to hold it and sign it. He actually touched it. I'm so happy. Robert England touched this. Robert England touched this box and signed it. And it has my necklace in it. Now, if you want this, it's actually a really nice thing. And it's I thought it was going to be way more expensive than that. Now, the, that hole was already there, okay? So the necklace basically comes in this box with this piece of artwork. And then it sits like that. And that is fucking, that is so cool, right? And then I didn't even notice this, but on the on the lid there, oh oh, you can totally read that, right? It says from the boiler room of Robert England, robertengland.com. This is your COA, bitch. Oh, fucking awesome, I love it. And then this is what you get as well, just in case you wanted it. You might want to know. You get a postcard. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm totally happy to have a postcard. But you know, you just go. Pretty sure we're out of like we're not in the postcard age anymore, like. I, I don't I don't know why I've been given what is essentially a postcard. Although having said that, maybe it's like a card for autographs. Maybe if I was to meet him, I'm supposed to get it autographed. I may be talking out of my ass here, and I'm supposed to get that fucking autograph. And then it's just got like what he's doing like lately, what what's going on. But I can't go to any of this stuff, okay? Because I don't fucking live in America. And yeah, so yeah, that's what you get with it. And the necklace is awesome, and I've had it on all day. I fucking love it. And I, I keep the box in the bubble wrap that it came in because I don't want anything to happen. Robert England signed my box and I will shut up now about it. There's one more thing. Having gotten the Robert England thing, I decided that maybe I would get a couple of other autographs. of Just of people that I really, really, really want their autographs. Okay, I really want Kane Potter's autograph, but he doesn't have a a signing website or anything, I'm never going to meet the guy. But then I thought, mm, what about my favourite director? My favourite director who happens to be Adam Green, who puts out nothing but gold. And then of course Holliston is coming back, season 3 of Holliston is coming back, which means that he released Holliston, the graphic novel, Friendship is Tragic, and I saw that shit on his website, Ari Scope, and they were signing it. I was too late to get the entire cast to sign it, but I bought it with his signature on it, which you can see right there. I'm scared to touch it. I haven't read it yet. Where my fingers going in the wrong direction? There it is, Adam Green. Once again, he touched it. He had to hold it and sign it. I love him so much. I actually love Adam Green so much. And I haven't read it yet because I've been really busy and I want to actually take proper time to sit and read this. And I can't wait for Holliston Season 3 because that show is amazing. So yeah, I have my Holliston Friendship is Tragic signed graphic novel and my awesome Freddie necklace that I got from Robert England himself signed to me with my name on it. That was, that was what blew my mind the most. I was like, he had to write my fucking name on that shit. Oh my god. I'm 30 years old, this has been my dream for like 
nearly 25 years, okay? I I'll, I'll have it. I'll never meet the man, but I'm happy. I'm super happy with it. Okay, I'm going to stop now because, wow, this is long. And that's all the stuff I have to show you because I have no life now. I work nights. I have no life anymore. But Christmas is coming. Yeah! And I'll see you guys then. Bye.